Ooh, energetically holding on to you, never letting you go. You need to do a cleanse, okay? You need to take a salt bath, Himalayan pink salt, okay? Protect your energy, call your energy back, okay? Don't even feed into this. This is what I was saying. The more you think, the more, the more hold Tauros, this person is going to hold over you. The more you try to manifest them, the more energy you're actually sending to them. Because the reality is, is that right now they have no plans of coming towards you, no matter how hard you try to manifest them. And this is why I say, don't try to manifest people. People have free will, but also you never know, you know, people might be blocked away from you as protection. That might be God literally protecting you from chaos, from the devil himself. I'm practicing spell work to bring you back and keep others away from you. So they want you to do all the work. They want you, excuse me, to chase them. But they don't want to put in any effort. They also want to make sure that nobody else is seeing you. Nobody else is with you. That you aren't moving on. Hold my spot, you see? <sighs> Hold my spot. They want to go and be a player, do whatever they want, and for you to sit there and wait for them. So they're like, hold my spot. And they're also doing magic to make sure that no one new comes to you, Tauros. You see what I, you see what I was saying? That this person, don't manifest them back. Spirit is basically saying for you to stop. Stop trying to manifest this person, okay? Because this person, they're toxic right now, okay? They're not changed they're not healed, okay, they would bring a lot of chaos into your life, okay, they would lower your energy, you don't want this individual in your life right now, Tauros, I just, you know, trigger warning, I know, hello, my beautiful Tauros, how are you, welcome back to the channel, Stars is right here, if you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the soul tribe, we have a read for you guys, okay, this is twin flames and separation, what your twin flame messages from them what they want to say the deepest truths okay if you are done with your twin flame you're not interested in your twin or you don't have a twin this isn't your read i do apologize for that cross watchers you are welcome this message is also timeless personal reads they're in the link tree link in the description box below also, I want to thank everyone for the likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Also, those of you that order readings from me and allow me to read for you, okay? I just want to express my gratitude and thanks to each and every one of you. So with all that out of the way, let's get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for our beautiful Tauros. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for divine guidance and celestial light. So we have number 12. So December, we have Tauros. Tauros, you came out on the dice. We also have Venus, which is your planet. So this is your read for a lot of you. Okay. Now, number 12, I believe that is the hangman. Let me get the booklet. already the feel the feel of this read is like you've just been waiting waiting and putting your life on hold not all of you but some of you it's like you've been putting your life on hold for this so i want to see the ascending life oracle then we're going to do a little bit of tarot and then we're going to do uh mystic beauty's truth oracle messages from your person so Let's see here. Manifestation. Chaos. So right off the bat, it's like I do feel like some of you are trying to manifest this person. Spirit is telling spirit is basically saying for you to stop. Stop trying to manifest this person. Okay, because this person they're toxic right now. Okay, they're not changed, they're not healed, okay. They would bring a lot of chaos into your life, okay? They would lower your energy. You don't want this individual in your life right now, Tauros. I just, you know, trigger warning, I know. Um, like, it has potential. But you know what I'm looking at here, Tauros? I'm looking at the money. 
I'm looking at these coins. Answers. So you're going to receive even more answers about the situation as time moves forward. Dating. Ooh. This individual, so there's separation because this individual's dating someone else. For some of you, they have a baby with, with this person. But this person is non-committal, Tauros. This person wants to have an open relationship with the baby mama or the baby daddy. That's not for everybody, okay? So don't, if it's not your story, don't make it fit. But for some of you, this individual does have a hidden child. Mountain, it's been delayed. The star, this is Aquarius energy. So the age of Aquarius, you guys were destined to be together. This was the lifetime to do it. You guys were meant to have spirit babies. Okay, for those of you that can uh, have children. Okay, not all of you. Some of you were meant to have spirit babies with this person. Crystal ball, events taking place in the future. So what I get here is Spirit isn't too sure what exactly is going on with this individual, um, where their future is headed. Okay, I feel like their fate is basically unclear at this point. I just heard from Spirit the path of self-destruction is going to lead to their ultimate demise and chaos. So it's funny I hear that because chaos is literally here. So... It almost feels like this individual is rejecting the light. They're rejecting their true love. Why are they doing this, spirit? There's somebody else in the picture, but... With Venus there, Venus is the planet of love. I get the feeling they do love you. Strength, pride, and ego, that's why. What else? Why else, spirit, for the separation? Wow, you're going to get the Divine Masculine. For a lot of you, this is a Divine Masculine. Okay, he, she, they, them, it. This is your Divine Masculine counterpart. And it's their pride and ego that is keeping them away from you. What more can you tell me, Spirit? This individual is a control freak, Tauros. They want to control everything. And they saw that they couldn't control you. That's why their separation yep spirit is saying to to focus on your healing okay some of you could be dealing with a leo or a sagittarius or an aquarius but yeah this individual they saw that they couldn't control you that's why they left they went and got someone else that they can manipulate and control King of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Yeah, this individual stabbed you in the back. That's why there has been no communication. That's why you guys haven't been speaking. Ten of Pentacles. They want to commit to something else. Something that they can control. Also, Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. They want money. They want status. Okay, they want quote-unquote power that's what they want and they feel like they can only get that through having money this is why manifestation when i saw manifestation that's why i said Taurus, if you're trying to manifest this person into your life stop don't don't manifest them into your life you don't want this person in your life trust me they are toxic okay you know what i'm hearing the gila monster okay this is the most poisonous lizard uh in america and what I'm hearing from Spirit is, if you let this person into your life, it would be like living with a Gila monster loose in your home, in your house. Yeah, okay, it's a slow-moving lizard. You know, if you don't bother it, you don't, you don't disturb it, it's not going to bite, it's not going to attack. But do you really want something like that wandering around your house, your apartment, at night when you're asleep? Would you be able to sleep with a poisonous lizard like that in your house? absolutely not you wouldn't even last an hour you would be you would call animal control like 
if you live in a, an apartment, you wouldn't even, you would, you would be out of your apartment. You would be like security, you know, you would be, you wouldn't even last an hour with a Gila monster. The spirit is saying this person is like a Gila monster. They're toxic. You never know when they're going to attack with their poison, with their venom. What else? Six of swords. Mm. Move yourself to safety. Yeah, the high priestess. It looks to me like this individual is about to receive a lot of karma. The world. Spirit saying for you to go travel, enjoy yourself. Because I'm telling you, this individual comes in, all they're going to do is breadcrumb. They're going to give you just enough to keep you around. And honestly, trigger warning, I know. But it's like, we don't have time for the games. Tauros, you don't have time for games. You know, the more time spent on this, that's time you can't get back. That's time you could be putting towards your studies, towards your health, if you want to eat healthy, eat more, you know, vegan food, right? More fruits, more vegetables. You want to go to the gym, get your dream body, or shed a few pounds, or just be more healthy. You want to go travel. It's like, that's time that can be spent manifesting those experiences that are going to make you happy, fulfilled. But it's like each second, each minute being spent on this individual is just taking, taking, taking from your energy. And this individual is absorbing your energy. Like I said, they, they removed themselves because they couldn't control you. They felt it in your energy that you couldn't be controlled. They also felt that you could see right through them. I made you feel worthless, but truth is you were too good for me. So they know. They know that they're toxic. They know that they're toxic. You were too good for me. In other words, you respected yourself enough to not let this person dog walk you. Control you. You respected yourself enough. You valued yourself enough. This person immediately saw it. This is confirmation. This is why they won't come anywhere near you because they can't control you. Yes, I'm in love. No rush. You see, they're toxic. They feel like you can wait around. That you can just wait for them. They're toxic. They haven't changed. I mean... In the next month, we'll do another read. We'll see if the energy has changed with this person. But right now, they are toxic. Sexual, sexual punishment. You've been acting up. So yeah, they would want to humili humiliate you in the bed. Um, they would be aggressive with you. They may have already done it. Okay, for some of you. They were aggressive. They might secretly record. They may have secretly recorded videos and photos of you two having sex. And this is blackmail. So that, you know, it's like they're scared that you're going to speak out and tarnish their reputation, so to speak. Something very, um, it's like very vain about this person. Like they care about what other people think. Very insecure. Ooh energetically holding on to you never letting you go you need to do a cleanse okay you need to take a salt bath himalayan pink salt okay protect your energy call your energy back okay don't even feed into this this is what i was saying the more you think the more the more hold tauros this person is going to hold over you the more you try to manifest them the more energy you're actually sending to them because the reality is, is that right now they have no plans of coming towards you, no matter how hard you try to manifest them. And this is why I say, don't try to manifest people. People have free will, but also you never know, you know, people might be blocked away from you as protection. That might be God literally protecting you from chaos, from the devil himself. I plan on proposing. 
to who are they proposing to Taurus or are they proposing to their person? Because for some of you, this individual has another person. So maybe this is like a way to kick, you know, like kicking a man down while he's down, you, you know, rubbing salt in the wound, so to speak. Still in love with someone else. This person is incapable of loving. They don't love themselves. You're their twin. You're their twin, but they ran from you. So that means they ran from themselves. So they don't love themselves. This person, honestly, I'm getting like they need therapy. I'm picking up strong sociopathic tendencies from this individual. Still in love with someone else. They're not in love with this person. They don't even know what love is. Yeah, see, look. Thank you for a confirmation, spirit. Thank you. I literally just said, this person doesn't even know what love is. Look what it says. You can't make it up, Tauros. You can't make it up. I know this isn't what we want to hear, but we cannot waste our time anymore with these kind of people. We just can't. If they didn't see your value then, you know, it's really unlikely that they're ever going to see your value. And especially this person who is a control freak. Wondering where I went wrong. It's unbelievable. <sighs> Wait, let me focus it on it. Look at it. Look at it. Look what it says. You see what I mean? They're saying they're still in love with someone else. But then don't leave me. I won't find better than you. I was right. They, they're not in love with anyone. They don't know what love is. They don't love themselves. Don't leave me. I won't find better than you. They don't love the person they're with. And if they're married or they've proposed and you saw it on social media, it's all playing house. It's fake. It's not going to last. It's going to end in a terrible divorce. Terrible breakup. It ain't going to last. They're already... It's like going on by a thread, okay? If they're with someone else, it's hanging by a thread. Literally. It's not going anywhere. Trust me. Trust me. Don't believe what they're showing you on social media. One day you're going to be my wife, husband. Oh, so... Th <laughs> they're planning on proposing to you. So they're with someone else, but the whole entire time, they're plotting how to get back to you, how to get you to submit to them, and then how to trap you. And they're thinking marriage would be the best way. It's unbelievable. You see, this is what I was saying. Control. They want control. I'm practicing spell work to bring you back and keep others away from you. So they want you to do all the work. They want you, excuse me, to chase them. But they don't want to put in any effort. They also want to make sure that nobody else is seeing you. Nobody else is with you. That you aren't moving on. Hold my spot, you see? <sighs> Hold my spot. They want to go and be a player. Do whatever they want. And for you to sit there and wait for them. So they're like, hold my spot. And they're also doing magic to make sure that no one new comes to you, Tauros. You see what I, you see what I was saying? That this person, do, don't manifest them back. Don't, don't bring them into your energy. Maybe next month they'll change or they'll start healing. But right now, they're not changed. They're toxic. And Tauros, I have to look out for you, okay? Because you are a fellow fixed sign like us leos i have to look i mean i'm gonna look after i'm gonna look out for all of my signs but i have to say this for your protection i know it's not what some of you want to hear but the truth isn't always easy you need to make sure you're safe you're sound you're secure you know remember the, the analogy if you were living with this person, it would be like you're living with a Gila monster in your house. The Gila monster is the most dangerous lizard in America. 
Do you really want to let this into your house right now? What do we have here? Wishing on a star. Yeah, okay. Mm, yeah, all right. Good luck with that. Do you ever think of me? It's okay. It's giving. It's giving mentally unstable. It's not giving what it's supposed to give, Tauros. I just have to be honest. I would keep your distance. Coming back for you. It's real. Here they come. Here they come. Prepare. Prepare. That's all I have to say. Have boundaries. <sighs> hmm. What is this, spirit? Give us a card here. Coming back for you. It's real. Three of Wands. And you can't make it up. The devil at the bottom. What did I say? You can't trust them. You can't. Yep. This is to keep you from moving on. This is to keep you in your head. That's what this is. And then, as soon as they give you just enough, they're gonna run off. And then you're left waiting. It's manipulation. They know what they're doing. Things could get ugly. Tauros, look. Things could get ugly. What did I say? Don't manifest this person into your life. Stop doing these love spells. Stop doing these rituals. Don't. Just keep your distance from this individual. This individual's life is about to be turned upside down. And this is the karma. This is their karma for how they've treated you. But you need to protect yourself. Be at a safe distance from this individual. And you need to focus on you. So that is your read. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck. I wish you love and light. Peace.